Hi guys, welcome to this quick but thorough review about this charger for the Switch and Switch Lite. The brand is called Nalensi or PDOBQ and I'm going to test how much power we can get out of it. And of course I'm going to show you uh, how this looks. This is uh, how it is. This is normal US plug but it works for 100 to 240 volts worldwide but if you are using it for another plug then you need to uh, buy travel adapter. This is standard USB-C which fits for the switch and switch light. We can plug it in here and by the way the maximum power which the switch is pulling is 39 watts so this is what we need to see here and i'm going to test it i think there is not much uh, written here on the package just a little bit there is no instructions manual so we just plug it in here and then we are running the automatic uh, fast charge enumeration to see if we have some protocol uh, support like for quick charge or pd something like that and so we have the details here. We can see PD 2.0 is 39 watts. That's the only thing which is supported. There is no quick charge or so, but it definitely supports higher voltage. When we go into the PD, we can see that it supports these voltages with these amps. And so let's go to the highest voltage we can get. And this is 15 volts. And now we are going to test to see if we can really pull 2.6 amps or not. So I'm going into the load module into the ramp up mode and so hopefully we can see uh, what's the maximum here you can see the watts we are at 10, 11, 15 now 20 still increasing we have to see 39 we are at 25 now we are at 30, it's getting a little bit warm here in the tester, 35 and we are at 39, yeah we passed and it goes even a little bit higher and it stopped at around 43 watts which is of course a good thing that it prevents from overheating, overcurrent or damage in general. What we also want to see if we can start it again of course. We want to see if it's not damaged just with a little bit of overcurrent and we start this thing again. And we can see it starts again so we can do this over and over. I've repeated this test about four or five times and it always came back with no damage, no nothing, no special heat or so of course if you're using 39 watts for longer time then it will produce some heat but you can see we can do the test again here and it gets to the same values at around 43 watts it will stop so for me definitely successful it's even capable to deliver a little bit more than 39 watts so I think it's a good device so I can give you full recommendation on that and so I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time